Welcome back to the channel. How's everybody doing? I know I've been gone for a little while, but I am back. To the one and only, I brick, you brick, we all brick. I'm the one and only, the brick mamba. And I have a lot to share with you guys today. You have no idea. We renovated the room. We got a few new sets, as you can see. We're gonna be doing a review today. We're also gonna be doing a review on the Orchid. Love this piece. Lady Mamba loves this piece. This was a Mother's Day gift from Little Brick, myself and the kids. We're gonna catch up on some old sets that we have that we've been meaning to put out there, but we've just been trying to make room. We're gonna give you an update on the shelves. You can see one here. We added a long shelf up top. We're gonna do an 80s theme up there. We're gonna do the Thor hammer shelf up here. So we got Marvel going, we got DC. We put some of the brick sketches up. So we've done quite a few things in the room. We're gonna let you know about the upcoming pieces that we're gonna build. The DeLorean is still coming. Thank you all for being patient and waiting. I know I've been talking about the DeLorean for a little while. We finally got the other two sets. So we're gonna do a back to back to back to the future compilation video of all three builds. Uh, we did a mock build right here. Shout out to Rebrickable. We got the little Iron Man bust right there that I'm gonna show you in a few. So we got a, quite a few things. Let's jump right in. Okay, so first up, we have the three new helmet editions that we recently added to the wall. From my left to the right, we have the Luke Skywalker Red 5 helmet. We have the Mandalorian helmet, and we have the Dark Trooper helmet. Three amazing pieces. They spared no expense when it came to adding the details. Amazing quality in the Luke Skywalker Red 5 helmet. Here is the minifig where you will see each detail they point out every detail from the chin strap to the detail going down the back even the yellow look at the yellow piping coming down the side everything is to specs now here we have the Mandalorian helmet, again, another great piece. As you can see back there, the Boba Fett helmet is up there. In a few, I'm gonna give you a little tour of the wall, the way we've done some adjustments and modifications to a couple of the pieces there. You can see, when once we get closer to the wall, each um, helmet that's up there will have its matching minifig next to it, so everybody can get a chance to see the detail that comes with the helmet matches every single figure on the wall. The Mandalorian helmet is amazing. It even has the chrome, you can tell on the top. See that chrome detail going straight to the back, all the way straight through. The visor is amazing. Look at that eyepiece, incredible. Another amazing piece. The Dark Trooper piece, another amazing piece. Right here, you can see the minifig, even down to the red detail in the eyes that they have on the minifig. Check that out. Look at the way the red eyes just straight pop right through. Even the angle, the angle that the helmet is built on coming down the side, it's amazing. Again, Lego held no expense when it came to the detail on these pieces. I love these pieces. And as you know, they're gonna be great additions to the wall. All right, and those sets are here for those people who haven't got them yet. Hurry up and go get them. Here they are right here. I'm gonna give you a quick um, shout out here. Here it goes. Dark Trooper Helmet. The set number is 75343 and it comes with 693 pieces. Here it is. Boom, there it goes right there. Next up, we have the Luke Skywalker Red 5 Helmet, 75327, and it comes with 675 pieces. Boom, there it is right there. Last but not least, the Mando. Here it is. Check it out. 75328, and it comes with 584. This set came with the least amount of pieces. I mean, this was more work than these. I have no idea why, but it had the least amount of pieces. This one... This one, believe it or not, is just the helmet with the shades and the chin strap. And this one gave me a little bit of trouble. I'm not even going to lie. So this is amazing build. 
this one is an amazing bill. You can imagine with all those black pieces there. All right, so here they are right there. If you haven't got them, add these to your collection ASAP. I advise you to go get them right now. So here we are. These are the three new additions that we added onto the wall. We're gonna be giving you a quick tour of the wall in a few. I just wanna go over some of these pieces that we have here. We have a lot to go over. I know it's been a while, but we're gonna keep on throwing these videos at you. We're catching up. We've added a lot of room in the room. <laughs> So we're going to be shooting videos at you. There's going to be some shorts. We're picking up the Optimus Prime on Wednesday. I know everybody's excited for that piece. I'm super excited. That's going to go on the 80s portion of our room. I'm going to give you a tour. I'm going to show you that shelf in a few. So uh, here we go. We're going to get into our next review right now. Okay, next up we have the Lego Orchid. And this thing is beautiful. From the pedal all the way down to the root. The detail is perfect. They went all out with this piece. The leaves falling down, look. See how they even have a leaf coming over the pot. The pot, look at the pot, look at the quality in the pot. Look at that, come on. I mean, this was a gift, like I said, I mentioned earlier, this is a gift from Little Brick and the kids and myself to Lady Mamba for Mother's Day. And again, I know We've been a little bit behind putting these videos out, but I just wanted to get them all out there. I wanted to give you our review on it. My review, thumbs up, super awesome piece. I mean, thank you Lego for putting this out because this is one that doesn't go in the room. This one goes out in the open for everybody to see because she absolutely loves it. One day we'll get her on the video to give you a quick update on it and, and let y'all know how she feels. But even the stem, even the poles to hold it, I don't know if anybody's owned the orchid, but you know when you buy an orchid, it comes with these little sticks on the inside so that the stems don't fall over. Amazing. Quality, even the little petals on the side, these little petals up here, even the little buds, even these little rose buds, all amazing, all amazing details. And this one was super fun. It was, it was a, a really easy build. I mean, uh, there's not much I can say other than thumbs up. I recommend it. If you haven't got any of the flower collection, this is definitely one that you need to get. Add this to your collection ASAP. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about some upcoming builds that we have going on. Um, our next pickup, by the way, will be Optimus Prime June 1st. Go get Optimus Prime. I'm telling you now, it will sell out if you haven't got the opportunity to get on one of these amazing pieces. The um, Van Gogh piece, we got it. We're gonna be putting it out there. It's gonna go on the wall. The Optimus Prime obviously is going up there. The Pyramid, that's going on the wall. I mean, we have a couple of different um, I Lego idea pieces that we're gonna be putting out there. We're gonna talk about the hammer. We picked up the hammer way way back and now it's finally getting built because we've added a new shelf just for it right over the infinity saga area so we're going to be letting you um see that in a few minutes um yeah let, yeah, let's definitely get into that. Okay, the Thor hammer. I know it's been out for a little while, but here it is. We are going to build it, and this is amazing. We got a shelf just for this piece, and this piece will be our next build. So what we're going to do is we're going to just jump into a lot of these pieces that we have already in our backlog, and we're going to knock them out and add them onto the wall so that we can start doing live builds. Because yes, you heard it, live build. I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to be building, picking up, and building it right there on the spot. I'm going to go live right on the channel and just pick it up and build it right for you, right there. You pick it, I brick it. That's right. You heard it first, right here on the channel. You pick it, and I'll brick it. Right. Here it is. This is the Thor hammer from the Infinity Saga. This set number is 76209. It comes in 979 pieces of Thor awesome power. You see it, look at the lightning. I wanna say that after I build this, nobody will be able to pick it up. Thor's power is gonna come right through it and it's gonna sit right there on the shelf and nobody's gonna be able to pick it up. That piece will sit there forever. The back of the box, it has a description detail of the size, 11.6 inches in length, 18.1 inches in height. Uh, it even has a little Thor minifig. Oh, look at that. It has 
um, the Tesseract gauntlet and a little flame piece right there. Um, this is an amazing build. We are definitely gonna jump into this. So in order, I'm gonna let y'all know right now, in order, what we're gonna do is, the Thor hammer will go up, then Optimus Prime will go up. That's gonna go on the 80 shelf, as I mentioned. Then we're going to build the DeLorean in the three-part series because it is three vehicles. We didn't just get you one DeLorean and we're gonna just take it apart and build the seconds and then take it apart. But no, no, we got you three. So we're gonna build all three and have all three of them back to back to back. That's right, here on the channel. I might even go all out and do a fourth Rebrickable, shout out to Rebrickable. If you haven't got on Rebrickable, get on Rebrickable right now. You'll get the mock build where we'll have the set that we talked about. Shout out to Dovis, he knows. The set that we talked about that should have came out, which should have been the DeLorean with the track wheels. That would have been awesome. And we found it and we're gonna build it right here. So we might pick up a fourth. Who knows, I don't know. We might go a lot. This is all for you. Again, this is all for you on the channel. We're keeping it all for you. So whatever you say, you pick it, we'll brick it. That's right, on the channel. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to give you guys a tour of some of the new spaces. I'm gonna give you a tour of some of the new shelves added. I'm for right now, because the left side is not complete. I'm gonna just show you the right side and let you see what we're working with on the right side of the room. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna start off on the Marvel side. Here we have the Iron Man helmet. Like I said earlier, each helmet will have its minifig. Then we have the Iron Man bust. This is a mock build that we got on Rebrickable. Shout out to Rebrickable. I love this build. This build was amazing. Didn't take too much time. You can get this set. This is the Iron Man Infinity Saga set. With that one set, you can build this mock. Super easy, super fast. Rebrickable is awesome. I love that build. Then we have the Iron Man Brick Sketch. And of course, the Gauntlet. Look at that. Look at that. Infinity Gauntlet is awesome. And of course, here he is. There he goes. And that shelf, can y'all guess what that shelf is for? That's right. The Thor Hammer. Mjolnir is going up there. We needed enough space because we did not know how big because so, originally it was supposed to go here but lady mama said uh, uh nope it is not happening we had to move it up to the top all right so that's that section there then you all know that we've worked on the dc area for quite some time we've been looking and scouring um the stores for the batmobiles and here we've got them the 1966 adam west batman cow with the batmobile there and then we have the minifigs to go with it because you know each one has it here we are boom and the joker then we have the batman brick sketch and the 1989 uh-oh who's that that is the brick mamba he is standing next to batman and the joker and the penguin then we have the tumbler along with the joker brick sketch and then we have batman once again and the Batman cow. There we go. Boom. And we're going to shoot up to the top. Where we have the Scout Trooper. Along with the Scout Trooper minifig. The Storm Trooper brick sketch. And the Storm Trooper. Again, Storm Trooper minifig. Then we have Boba Fett. Look at his minifig right in front of him. And we just talked about the Mando. Then we have... The Dark Trooper and the Fighter Pilot. Look at the BBF Brick Sketch. Then we go up here where we have the Droid. The Luke Skywalker Red 5 helmet. The Slave 1. We're going to come over here. We have Dark Vader. And we have the meditation chamber. Uh-oh, who made a guest appearance there? Luke Skywalker, check him out. Boom. Now, we're gonna come over to the Venom side. So, we have Venom here, 
and we have Carnage there, super awesome builds. I think these are two of the best helmets or headpieces that we have here. Miles Morales brick sketch in the back. That is an awesome brick sketch. And shout out to Delvis. Boom for blessing us with the Venom comic book. Check that out. And then we made this space right here. You guys are going to get to pick what is going to go on that shelf. We have a few sets. I'll let y'all vote it out. And whatever you guys pick will be taking place on that shelf. Here is the 80s shelf. So, of course, we have the Nintendo up there. And right next to the Nintendo, Optimus Prime. He will make his appearance and he is going up there where he's going to take place on the 80s shelf. That's right. The 80s shelf is right there. We have another shelf here. We've added these shelves. We talked about that shelf. So we have some things that we're working on. Here it is. Let me come back out. Boom. There it is. And then right under that, we're going to add one more shelf on the bottom with a third shelf right here. So we're going to have three shelves here. We have those two shelves there. We have these here. So the wall is coming along. It's definitely coming along. We might add two shelves on the side there. Not too sure. We, won't, we don't want to overcrowd the wall because we are working on the left side of the room as well. We'll give you an update on that. But for now, here it is. Once again, thank you for being patient and still subscribing to the channel and keeping up with me. I know it's been a lot, but we've been working consistently to pick up new sets. We still have the giveaways going, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you could enter for your chance to win one of these awesome giveaways that we're still giving out. Okay, so there you have it. We've done a review on the helmets that we recently added to the wall. We've done a review on the Orchid. Superb detail. I mean, exquisite. We talked about some of the upcoming builds where we have the Thor hammer coming up, we have the Optimus Prime, and we will build it. We are no longer going to hold on to sets. Once we get the set, we will build the set right here, right on the channel for you. The giveaways are still going down. So if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel and comment down below on, on this video, along with the upcoming videos, I brick. Bring people along, recommend it, tell your brother, tell your mother, tell your friends, tell everybody, subscribe to the channel. You will get the opportunity to win any one of these sets. We're giving it away. We have another one of these. We have another one of these. We have another, we have tons of sets. That's right. We want everybody to be a part of this awesome journey that we're on. Little Brick, he's sleeping right now, but Little Brick, he has a couple of upcoming builds that we're gonna share on the channel as well. He has um, some brick heads that he wants to build. He has the Woody and the Bo Peep. Um, he has he built the Buzz Lightyear ready, so he's gonna put that on the channel for you guys. He has a couple of the new Buzz Lightyear sets. So we have a couple of things to hit you guys with. So we're gonna be putting some videos out there. We're gonna be doing some live videos because I haven't done one yet, but we will be doing some live videos. We're going to be doing some shorts to let you know where we're at. We're also going to be doing the Van Gogh set that I picked up, Starry Nights. We're definitely going to build that and put that on the wall. We have to make space for that. That might go on the left side of the wall. So yeah, I mean, once again, we are back in full effect. Thank you, everybody, for keeping in tune with us. Thank you, everybody, for still subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. Hit those like buttons, turn on those notifications because we're going to keep the videos rolling. We are. We're putting out video after video after video after video after video. You get the point. Until next time, everybody, keep building.